This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you the difference between detaching audio and breaking apart clip items in Apple Final Cut Pro. Bill asks, with a typical primary storyline clip that has both video and audio selected, what's the difference between detach audio and break apart clip items? Looking at the timeline, they appear visually to do the same thing. They both detach the audio. There's actually a significant difference here. Let me illustrate. Here I have a stereo clip. The image, by the way, is courtesy of Ann Gibson, and thank you for sharing the clip with us. If I go to this clip here and go Trim, Detach Audio, my audio is now separate from the video. But what you may not know is that each of these guys was recorded on their own mic. This is actually three tracks of audio. In point of fact, it's two, but let's pretend three tracks of audio, and I can't see those individual tracks. Instead, what I want to do is I want to see the individual tracks of each clip. Select the clip, go up to the Audio Inspector, go to Audio Configuration, and set the Audio Configuration from Stereo to Dual Channel Mono. And here we can see that there are two separate audio tracks inside that one audio clip. Now, when I select the clip and go to Clip, Break Apart Clip Items, each individual track is separated. So when I say Detach Audio, regardless of whether I have one or 24 tracks inside that clip, it separates as a single clip. When I break apart the audio, it separates the audio based upon the tracks. Now that is determined by your audio configuration. If it was a surround clip, it would separate into a single clip. If it's a stereo clip, it would separate into a single clip. But if it's dual channel mono, because I have multiple clips, then I'm going to get each individual track here. The main difference is that most of the time we use the break apart clip items for a compound clip. See that symbol right there that indicates it's a compound clip? Select it, go to break apart clip items, and now we see all the components that were inside that compound clip, we separated it into discrete items. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 301. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and Time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.